the film industry can bring its contribution to fight against climate change. And at the same time, it will save money, it will become more competitive. But, and that's my second point, I think the film industry uh, can do much more than that. It can lead by example, it can convince millions of citizens around the globe to follow suit. I'm very happy to be here to, to begin with, I should say, because it's the first time I'm sitting in a panel with uh, representatives from the, the film industry, so that's quite uh, unusual for me, but I think it's very good. It shows that uh, we are more and more thinking that uh, we need to uh, join forces to fight against climate change. In Europe, we've got a roadmap for that, which is called the European Green Deal, and our ambition is to be carbon neutral by 2050. And, uh, Next week, uh, in three days exactly, we'll adopt a, a very ambitious package of new legislation that will help us achieve an intermediate, intermediary target of uh, reducing our greenhouse gas emissions by 55% by 2030. So that's, that's quite ambitious. And I think, I think the film industry uh, could help us um, in this race to net zero for, for two main reasons, I think. First, because reaching net zero emissions by 2050 uh, requires requires efforts from all sectors of the economy. And second, because the film industry has the power to trigger actions among millions of uh, citizens. And I, I give you an example, which is the area I'm working in, which is uh, clean energy. It's very relevant because uh, the energy that we use and produce in Europe uh, represent uh, 75% of all our greenhouse gas emissions. So to reduce uh, the carbon footprint in this area, uh, the recipe is very simple. We need to reduce our energy use and we need to consume uh, renewable energy instead of fossil fuels. And in Europe, we've succeeded in, in decoupling our economic growth from uh, the energy that we use and a bit more than 20% of the energy uh, that we consume today in Europe is coming from renewable energy sources. However, this is not enough and we need to further increase our share of renewable. And, and there, is no, uh, there is not one silver bullet for doing that uh, in Europe. 40% uh, of the energy that we use is, is consumed in buildings, uh, roughly 30% in transport and the rest in industry and agriculture. And each of these sectors uh, must contribute, uh, which means all citizens, uh, public organization, private consumers, it's a collective responsibility and the film industry is no exception. Uh, I think by using more energy efficient solutions, uh, by optimizing uh, transport, logistics, uh, purchasing green electricity, green products, the film industry can bring its contribution to fight against climate change. And at the same time, it will save money, it will become more competitive. But, and that's my second point, I think the film industry uh, can do much more than that. It can lead by example, it can convince millions of citizens around the globe to follow suit. And I'm, 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 I'm coming here to the fantastic power of movies to raise awareness and, and trigger uh, behavioral changes. Um, we all have in mind the, uh, the uh, Inconvenient Truth, uh, the movie that was used by Al Gore in 2006 to educate people around the world about climate change. Uh, we've had also in, in France a, uh, a movie called Tomorrow, which was uh, having a similar goal, but was also giving very, very uh, concrete uh, solutions um, to, to fight against climate change. And I think the movie has been a source of inspiration for many uh, organizations as well as citizens who have developed individual uh, climate actions based on what they learned in that movie, and including youngsters because the movie was shown in hundreds of schools. Uh, that, that I think was uh, remarkable. And I think that's really where the film industry can help. And, and when we talk, uh, when policymakers in general talk about energy efficiency, they tend to focus on the energy and the cost savings, but in reality, it's much more than that. And it can be also linked to emotions and we have to change the narrative. And I think the film industry can help us um, change the narrative. And I think clean energy is a potential of, it has a lot of good materials uh, for movies. I mean, the, uh, if I think of wind turbines have, have become um, 250 meter tall, they've become real giants. Uh, we've got ocean energy that provides very great underwater pictures. Uh, we've got Bertrand Picard in, in Europe uh, in the sky with his solar plane, uh, which offer, offers us uh, magical moments. And I, I think you've 
I would be delighted uh, to see the film industry get closer to energy experts uh, and behavioral scientists and to come up with new ideas on how to further engage citizens in the energy transition, because that, that is key and that is really where uh, the film industry can help us. Thank you.